relax. There's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, I'm gonna show you right now how easy it is to log on and register for a course. Go to www.amca.com.au AMCA Online is available to anyone from anywhere in the world and especially to members from any state. If you can't find a link to AMCA Online on your state's webpage, then click on the New South Wales tab. Click on Learning and Development and scroll down to the AMCA online section. Hey, check this out. Every now and then we'll have a promotion pasted over here. For example, if you click on this link, you can see if you can have government funding to cover your online nationally accredited course. The majority of our online courses that fit within the Australian Qualifications Training Framework are provided by AOT the number one provider of online nationally accredited qualifications. They have a great support mechanism generating a 90% completion rate of qualifications attempted. And the beauty of this link means that you could do such a course for free and with government funding. Anyway, come back over here to access AMCA Online. Clicking here automatically takes you to our AMCA Online site. That is www.learningseat.com forward slash public forward slash AMCA. The first thing you might want to do is look for a course. There's no point registering if we don't have the course that you're looking for. Click on search, enter a keyword in the learning name field. For example, if we wanted to do a course around project management, we could type in the word project. Click on search and look at all the courses that appear related to projects. Many of these courses are related to different versions of Microsoft Project. Some of the others are nationally accredited project management courses, whether an individual competency or a full-blown certificate for or even a diploma. For our navigating example today, however, we'll choose an introductory course on project management. We can see here a brief overview of the course to help me further identify if this is actually the course I want to do. Drilling further, the objectives identify the skills and outcomes I should gain from completing this course. The time taken to complete the module is also suggested, but online learning is flexible and I can take as long or as short as I wish when attempting to complete a course to maximise my understanding and the grasping of concepts and to help me live my kind of lifestyle in the context of my busy career. Notice there are two prices. The first price is the cost of the course. The second price is a discounted price for members only. I'll show you how to get that discounted price in a moment. But for now, let's add this to our shopping cart and take it to the register to purchase. A summary of the courses we want to buy appears. We can check the box to delete the item if we change our mind and don't want to do it. In this case though, we want to proceed to check out. If we have registered before, we simply log in with our username and password. But, as a new user, this is the first time I have registered for a course, so I need to enter some extra details. First name, colon, surname, contractor, email address, colon, at aircon.com.au Phone number 0412 
5580. State? Well, you put your state in, but pollen contractor comes from New South Wales in this example. Member details. Now, this is an important field. This is where you enter the secret password to ensure you get the discounted member price. So don't tell anyone, but our secret discounted members only password is AMCAEL, as in AMCA e learning. Easy to remember, AMCAEL. Now, for the next time you log in, make up a username and password. Colin is going with the username aircon316. He wouldn't tell me what the password is, so I guess you should never tell anyone yours either. However, it must have a minimum of four characters, whether they be letters and or numbers. Don't make it too hard on yourself to forget it though. Click on next. Gee, this is just like online shopping. You can pay for your course via credit card. Contact AMCA New South Wales if you would prefer to be invoiced. For now, let's enter the details of our business credit card. Colin never leaves home without his American Express credit card. He enters the name imprinted on his card. Then he enters his card number, blurred out for security reasons. <coughs> He then selects his card's expiry date. Click on Submit, an important message appears. Click on OK and wait for the payment to go through before doing anything else. Bang! Our payment has been confirmed and we have a receipt appear. We can print it off if we like and we can get straight into the training from here. The course we have registered for is listed. It says we have not attempted it just yet. I can start if I want to do the course now, but I have decided there are a few other things I need to do around the office first. The beauty of e-learning is its flexibility. I'm not locked into a classroom session. I can start and stop as I like and when I'm ready. So we won't start it just yet. I will come back later when I am ready. For now, I'm going to log out of the system. I am back at the home page. Okay, so now I've decided to get my course underway. From the home page, I click on the login button. I enter my username and password that I made up when initially registering. Remember Colin's username was aircon316 and he wouldn't tell me the password? Well, once these have been entered, click on login. My project management introduction course is listed. It's ready there for me to start. So I click on start. The course appears. Cool, look at that. Hey, is that Brad Pitt? So off you go on your course. Most courses are very interactive, but as an introduction, we can just read through these slides. And you complete your first module. There is much more to completing the full course though, and there is an assessment to test your learning as well. The course you choose to do might have additional resources such as a case study document or useful tools that you can keep on your hard drive. You can also give feedback, your thoughts and feelings about the course itself, whether you like it or not, or perhaps how it could improve. They take your ideas and they implement them into future versions of the same course. You can also exit the course from here as well. Next time you log on, you simply click on start and you'll continue the course from where you last left off. Well, it really is that simple. So it's now time to log out and let you have a go. Have fun learning anytime, anywhere with AMCA Online. <laughs>